Okay, so Michael asked me an embarrassing question. Uh, he said, uh, I heard uh, your opinions about vitamins have changed. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of new research. Um, I have a lot of videos on this because it's a big deal. And it's kind of difficult, kind of subtle to pick up. There's some hard to understand features and there's some features I don't really like. But I think I can get that across to you. I'm just going to give you a summary. I'm not going to give you all the evidence. But there's a lot of research on this that supports it. But let me give you the short finish before I give you the long talk, okay? High dose vitamins are bad. Vitamins are good, but high dose vitamins in numerous studies, vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin D maybe, uh, B vitamins, B12, high doses probably are not only worthless, but maybe actually harmful. And that's different than what I used to say. If you look in the manual, it says take three multivitamins a day, blah, blah, blah. I think that's now incorrect. On the other hand, you know that we get vitamins from food and that healthy foods have a lot of vitamins in it. So this sounds kind of boring, but healthy food is good. And you're saying, I paid $17,000 for this? <laughs> uh, but let me say again, blueberries, tomatoes, bananas, orange juice, good. Three large multivitamins a day may not only be worthless, but may be harmful. Healthy food with vitamins, good. High dose vitamin tablets not only may be worthless, but may be harmful. Now, that's such a radical statement that it begs for me to give a half an hour of different research studies to prove it. And I'm not going to do that for you this morning, if that's okay. You guys are all barely staying awake for me, and I appreciate that. But trust me that if you will look into it, there are two articles last year that are written for lay people, non-scientists, ones in Consumer Reports and ones in Reader's Digest, where they go over the research. Where, for example, vitamin A in your food, like in carrots and squash and things like that, is protective against developing cancer. But when they took 17,000 veterans and gave them vitamin A tablets, it didn't help and it actually made some of them sicker with more hip fractures. So again, healthy food Good. Now, I'm embarrassed. I want to say, kind of like Bart Simpson, duh, you know, of course. But, but again, let me say it again. You and I, we would like to be able to run out the door in the morning on the way to work, driving fast in the car even though you're late, maybe you're putting on your makeup, answering a cell phone call, and eating a Twinkie. And you want to eat healthy so you have a multivitamin. No, that's not correct. You can't do that. Instead, what's more difficult is for you to sit down, wash some blueberries, mix them with some yogurt, and have something healthy in the morning. That is very good. To say, I'm going to eat junky and then have a big multivitamin to make up for it, not only is it not helpful, but it may actually be harmful. Okay? And there are other videos on this, and maybe if you want to, I'll do a half an hour talk on it next week to go over the research. Healthy food, good, please do eat good, healthy food. And again, isn't that obvious? Excuse my language, crap, junky food, not so good. As a treat, occasionally, okay, junk food is not good for you, and you cannot make up for it. According to lots of research studies, you cannot make up for it by taking high-dose vitamins. Because the high-dose vitamins may actually be bad for you. That's the summary, that's the short answer. Now, could you take one multivitamin a day? Sure. But you know, remember the guys that take 10 grams of vitamin C, take tons of vitamin A, take tons of antioxidant? The vitamins, no. Healthy food, you can't overdose, as far as we know, on blueberries. You can't eat too many bananas or apples. High dose multivitamins, Eh, they're not deadly like shooting yourself with a gun, but don't choose that for health. If you want to be healthy, 
with the MGB or without, it's to eat a healthy diet. Okay? And I'm not going to go into it further this morning just because everybody's postdoc. There's a long half an hour talk with all the research studies and everything like that, but just short answer, healthy food. Okay?